Okay, so we're going to look at this uh, sketching exercise. It's sketching orthographic, and I think you've seen a little sneak there. What we've got is a gridded piece of paper. We can show you how to do that. There are 20 millimetres or 2 centimetre grids. Just measured out and drawn on a sheet of paper as parallel as possible and popped it behind. It's just going to help when you're sketching to keep your lines parallel to project. So we're going to look at the block on the top left-hand corner. It's a block of six with one removing, so it's five blocks up there. I'm pointing in the direction we're going to look at this elevation. At the moment, we're sketching the, the width and the height of that particular object. So looking across at the moment, it's three high and two wide. So that will give you the six overall um, squares to make up that cuboid. Remember, they're cuboids. So looking at different views now, I think the plan view, looking above, we're going to project that up above, straight line, straight from the elevation. Or you'll see the elevation get firmed in. I'm going to sketch in two vertical lines and two horizontal lines for the plan view. It's two squares wide and one square thick. The side view, viewed from the left hand side, I'm just projecting lines across at the moment. I'm going to sketch in a rectangle that's three squares high and one square left to right, thick or wide. Now within that, there'd be a straightforward rectangle. And if I look at the left-hand view, I really just see a stack of three squares. So in this case, I can firm in a little bit of that view, putting the base lines in, turning the page, because it's easier to sketch that way, so the page will move a fair bit, uh, sorry, during this demonstration. Now look at this top right-hand corner in the front view. That's the square that's missing. Basically, there's five left out of the total six. So we've got a little line on the top that shows we've got a one square, on the top, then we've got a step down where that missing square would go. Then we're going to a couple of vertical lines to join the, the new shape up. And I think you'll be able to see fairly straightforward what that front view would look like with that corner missing as shown there. Look at the top view, the little step, the, the step down the way would appear as a line across the top view. So if I firm in there just now, we'll get the front of the plan view the back of the plan view, and then the sides, left and right sides, with that step down in the middle. And that will give us our three views. Very, very simple, using square paper behind just as a help to push that idea forward a little bit at the moment. We'll have the elevation, we'll have the end elevation, and of course we've got the plan up above. So, what we've done there is taken one of the little tasks from the, the page that's on the server at the school to say, let's have a look at one of these. Can we see the front view? There's the width and the height. There's the width and the height with the corner, that bit that's been stepped out missing. And the end view, we're only going to see one square wide and three squares high. Later on, we'll show you some hidden detail we could add to a drawing like that. But just for the moment, that's a straightforward outside left-hand view. And for the top, we've got that stepping down. But we can't see the stepping down because we're looking straight above. We can get that information from the end from the main elevation.